Hi, I'm Paul with Boaters Exchange in Rockledge, Florida. Today we're going to talk about the Yamaha 242X. This is a boat that is made by Yamaha Jet Boats. They're uh, manufactured in Venor, Tennessee, and they feature twin engines that are uh, manufactured in Japan. Um, uh, we get a lot of questions about the power plant on the jet boats, so I'll just start with that. Now, any of the Yamaha jet boats that have the tagline E-Series in them, what E-Series implies is that they're fly-by-wire controlled motors, so the throttle mechanism is essentially a computer interface. It has um, some upgraded features in the, in the onboard connect system or the computer screen that allows the driver to pre-program profiles for towing skiers, wakeboarders, and uh, wake surfers, such as a pre-designated speed and a pre-designated acceleration curve. And that can be saved off for each of your passengers. So it's pretty neat. And furthermore, there's an integrated uh, battery charging system. So there's solar charging on the E-Series. And that's on the top side of the canopy. The E-Series canopy provides more shade than the non-E-Series models. And while we're talking about all of the models, in the 24-foot range, there's the AR240, same engine, same 1.8 liter motor. It has the forward sweeping tower and a traditional tower bimini, not the big E-Series bimini. Then there's the SX240, which is a non-tower version of the same boat. Upgrade from there is the 242 Limited S. The 242 Limited S um, comes in E-Series and non-E-Series. The non-E-Series doesn't have fly-by-wire, doesn't have the big canopy, and doesn't have solar charging. The E-Series does. So you can get the 242 Limited S in the E-Series or the non-E-Series. And then lastly is the flagship, which is the 242X. The 242X is their designated wakeboard boat. Um, there's all kinds of technology in all of the boats, but on the X is uh, the fundamental difference between the X are going to be things like uh, the ballast system. There's three ballast tanks on this boat, which will enable the boat to create a better wake for wake surfing. It also has wakeboard racks, uh, comes standard with wakeboard racks, and then comes standard with an upgraded stereo system, amplified um, tower speakers, it's got the wet sounds, overhead, um, tweeter bar, I guess you would call that the mid-range bar, and on and on. All right, in the front of the 242X, super nice seating area. One of my favorites is the what I call the rumble seats. So you can take that front cushion out, and then the little ones can sit up here. They love sitting up here. They want to be close to the water. This gives them the sensation of flying. So real handy seating configuration. And then the other thing they did on these is they hinged the uh, bow seats, so much easier access. And it's a double hinge system that sort of pulls away and makes it real nice to get in and out. Another seating um, difference on the uh, jet boats that's super innovative, it's hard to explain, but um, there are uh, there is a seat uh, cushions that'll make a bow filler platform. And when you put the bow filler platform in place, you can just make one big deck to lay out on, or you can take the front cushion out and it drops into this position to become a backrest. So now there's three across seating in the front. Very, very innovative. I like the badging on the 242X. It's billet aluminum and it's an upgraded look, gives it a, a real sort of high-end look. Also on the 242X, the upholstery has some extra color trim and piping. And of course, all of the 242 series has the upgraded headback rest, or I guess the headrest they would call it. So just some neat features on these. Coming back over here is the bifolding windscreen door. And I think this is so neat because what you can do is block the wind on a cool day when you want to say take your spouse to a restaurant on the water and it's uh, you know maybe it's a cooler day you want to block out a little bit of that wind or rain so you've got the bifolding windscreen door and when the bifolding windscreen door is not 
being used, it simply becomes part of the, the bulkhead and it actually closes off that hatch. You can't see it. So real neat is how they've done the uh, access to the head compartment. The head compartment itself is not giant, but the truth is that you don't need it to be because the larger this compartment is, the less space, usable space you have topside. And that's where we spend 98% of our time. What this door does is it gives a very generous opening in and out of that compartment. So if you do need to go in there, it's not such a project. Now the table is a great addition. It comes standard. It has two places it can go. One is back here in the cockpit and the other one is back on the rear swim step. And one neat thing about Yamaha is they do a lot of focus groups and gathering customer feedback. So what they've done is instead of the small kidney shaped table, they've made this large enough for a family to actually eat off of if you wanted to put a ringleader or make sandwiches and still capture some Cokes. And it has the sea deck or the uh, marine matting on it. So for non-skid purposes, instead of the small or little kidney shape. And uh, also, in, if, you, if you go back to sort of the generation one of the jet boats, the table in the rear position used to be right in the center. And that would make it difficult to get on and off the boat. Now the table is offset to one side and uh, has a neat little mount mechanism for it that doesn't get in the way of your feet. So the passenger helm seat is super handy. What it does is it will uh, rotate so that you can have it in the rear facing position and the passenger can be watching uh, the, uh, the wakeboarders. But then also, it, when, you re when you recline this seat, the armrests go down and a lot of them don't do that. So now you have a very comfortable rear recline feature that uh, my wife um, loves and so do I when she's driving. When you rotate it around, on the front side what we have are three cup holders for the passenger. There's a grab handle also known as an oh shit bar and there's a netting where um, somebody could put a little bag with towels or a purse or uh, or anything over there. Then we have the what's known as the entertainment center, um, fancy word for a glove box. The glove box uh, opens out like this. You can put some drinks right here or again sandwiches. It's got a non-skid surface. It's also very large and on the lower portion there's a lockable glove box. Storage again up top for cell phone, keys, phones, uh, wallets and more non-skid. Now the helm. This is a super uh, important feature of any boat and Yamaha's helm system is awesome. On the 242X, first off, you get a big rear mirror. Um, if you want to stand and drive, the mirror by rotating this knob, first off, is uh, adjustable. But then furthermore, if you rotate this knob, and I can't seem to do it right now because somebody's got it so tight, um, the mirror can actually be folded down so that it's not in your way if you're driving standing up. Very configurable mirror. It's uh, made by PTM Edge and it's, it's, a great, it's a great feature. On the dash, once again, four cup holders within reach of the driver. We've got a very innovative place to hold a cell phone. So there's a little capture there for the cell phone. You can just put it right there. Now I almost have like a backup navigation system if I want to use the mapping tool on my phone. We've got this very large Connect system. Um, lots to talk about there. Check out Yamaha's website. There's tons and tons of information on there. The biggest deal is that you can pre-program rider configurations such as speed, acceleration, and also the ballast system, how much weight on one side versus the other. There's three ballast tanks that can all be pre-programmed. Got a little joystick control. All the buttons are um, waterproof push button buttons. Super handy. Also have push button start on this boat. Helm seat has a flip up bolster and the steering wheel is folding. So if I want to stand up and have it in that config, no problem. If I want to 
sit on top of the bolster and maybe have the steering wheel down. Um, I personally prefer sitting up on top of the bolster and I like the steering wheel more or less vertical. Other drivers have completely different styles. The last thing on the dash, it's got a leather grade um, cover. It's very plush. It's a beautiful boat. I love everything about it. Cooler on this side, big ski locker in the center. The ski locker has a holder for skis or wakeboard. And um, of course, lastly in the back, there's the big engine hatch and a removable cushion in the middle so that you can take the cushion out for ingress and egress. Well, there's so many features about the engine and the jet propulsion system, the, uh, the articulating keel, some of these things we could talk about. I'm not going to get into all that because there's a whole other video that we could do just on the propulsion system. Um, please call me and I'll answer any questions that you have. On the, black, on the back swim platform, pretty neat area here. First off, wrap around bolster seating, um, kind of a, almost like a stadium style. Sea deck, grab handle for getting on and off. Four more cup holders, speakers, a tow point down low to augment the tow, uh, the ski tow that's up high. Uh, we've got a fusion stereo remote control back here on the on the transom as well. There is storage that a lot of people don't know about, and this is new. For, um, for this 2018 model year, but the storage back here is considered wet storage. It does two things, or it serves two roles. One is you get storage in the back, but more importantly, um, what it does is provide some um, asymmetrical dimension to the motor compartment. And so now the motor compartment is no longer as much of an echo chamber, so it uh, provide sound deadening is the best way to put it. And lastly, the neat thing on the, all the Yamaha jet boats is that the swim platform is very, very low to the water. It makes getting in and out of the boat very, very convenient. It's something that uh, it's a kind of a subtle point, but because the propulsion point is, uh, is, is relatively high on the back of the boat, when you give a Yamaha jet boat fuel, and uh, there's very little bow rise. So therefore, the back of the boat is not getting down and, and sort of digging into the water because the boat takes off nice and level. They can get away with a swim platform that is just above water level when the boat's at rest. It's a subtle point, but it makes a huge difference for convenience. I'm Paul with Boaters Exchange. We are located, uh, headquartered in Rockledge, Florida. We've got a, a satellite dealership in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. You can find us online at www.boatersexchange.com. Um, our number is 321-638-0090. We're one of Central Florida's largest boat dealerships. We certainly feel we're the best, and I'd love to meet you.